everything executed in a much more modern way, but still um, staying true to the benefit of our members. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, of course. I mean, tell everyone about your background and you know your history at Bentley. So far. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm the head of exterior design at Bentley, which is a yeah a wonderful job. I still have to pinch myself when I say it out loud. <laughs> Um, and I've been in that position three years, I've been at Bentley 11 years and I've been involved in pretty much every product um, since I've arrived. Um, yeah, I mean every year I'm with the brand, I fall deeper in love with it and obviously we've met a few times sure, um, yeah. you know, with a couple of launches that, of cars that I've been part of the design process on. So yeah, it's great to show you our, our, our latest toy. Well, we, I mean, we appreciate it. The Flying Spur has been a lot of fun to drive. But let's backtrack just a little bit and talk about the history as far as you know, how long you've been there and also just but more specifically, you know, what was the first one that you worked on? So I would say, um, you know, the first the first project that I, you know, really had a chance to, to own and to lead was the EXP 10 Speed 6 concept in 2015. Yeah. So that was a little um, two-seat, two-door sports car. Um, and it was purely conceptual, which meant that, you know, we in the design team had a chance to stretch our legs, essentially, and really experiment beyond what we would have normally done in a production car. And it meant that we were able to find new forms and find new directions for us and so many of the um, of the design cues on the Continental GT, the GTC and now and now this, the Flying Spur, have come from the template that was set on that concept car. So it really was, um, yeah, it was an important car for, for Bentley design. And that front end, obviously you see a lot of like reminiscence uh, of the concept in the new front end on the GT, GTC as well as the Flying Spur. Um, but let's talk differences because obviously everyone, everyone's like, well, now they all kind of look alike, mm -hmm. and now the flying spur has been refreshed, mm -hmm. and some might confuse, you know, that it's supposed to be just like a four-door version of that, but it's really not the case. No, it's, it's a completely yeah. uh, ground up new. So every every part is different. You know, you look at the face, for example. Um, of course, we have to have this kind of like, iconic, um, unmistakable identity for Bentley. Sure. If you've got the Matrix grill and those four round lights, but they're executed in a different way, a very different way um, to the Continental. The Continental's um, a lot faster, a lot more flowing. The grill is a little bit lower, a lot, a lot sportier. And here on the Flying Spur, the grill is much bigger, much taller. We've got the vertical vanes. It's a lot more upright, so you know it gives that kind of presence and that dominance that a luxury sedan should have. The lights aren't quite as fast. They're set a little bit more formal. A little bit more upright and of course then you have elements like the flying B which yeah. are reserved for our most luxurious cars and there's no way we would have this on Continental GT so the great thing about um, you know being able to change almost you know bespoke beyond um, the owner's imagination is, yeah. is you can create really different characters so you know you can take the finish of something like that flying B or the grill yeah. and you can have it in the black finish or the chrome finish and once you play with the different colors and the different interior specs you know every customer can make an individual statement obviously there's a major emphasis here with new flying spur to not only bring in new customers, but also ensure the heritage and that lineage that old you know, loyalists have sort of come to love about Bentley stays intact as well. Yeah, I mean, we're a brand of authenticity. Okay, so first and foremost, we have to be true to ourselves. Um, that means looking at what makes us great. Um, and we talked a little bit about you know, the craftsmanship and the experience. These are all things that, that, that won't change. Sure. But I, I guess it's just a matter of a little bit more modern execution. And, you know, we made some statements with the concept car EXP 100 GT uh, about, about um, you know, where we're going in the future with our brand. This is obviously the first small step towards that. Yeah. But I think it's as well just, just um, everything executed in a much more modern way, but still um, staying true to the Bentley brand. All right. Well, thank you so much, AP. Pleasure having you. And hopefully well. we'll see you on the next one then. Always great yeah. to see you. Likewise.